everyone, I'm Panic Pixie. Welcome to my channel. Today we have the Marvel 80 Years X Men dolls. Marvel on the side, uh, Storm on her box. Storm. Barbie signature. And here is the back. Sorry about that glare. Come on. Anyway. Okay, here's info about Storm. Pause it if you want to read it. And this is the same photo that's on the side of the box. Alright. Um, let's see if there's anything we need to know. Well, there you have it. I almost don't want to take these dolls out of their boxes because their boxes are so cool. Like, look at how cool she looks in her box. She looks so cool. Look at all that lightning. Okay. her stand and her certificate of authenticity it looks like her stand is just like Wonder Woman's and Wonder Woman's friends um, she has the same Wonder Woman type of body with the uh, most of the flexibility of our made-to-move Barbie dolls but more muscular and not as much uh, not as many places of articulation Here's her stand, and there we go. I really like these stands. I wish they used them all the time. So here's Storm. She's using a Selma hair, um, not hair, uh, face sculpt that we first saw with Selma Dupar James of the uh, Harlem Theater series. I think it's a little too soft for Storm. If you look at the picture on her, well, you only get a side view, but Usually she's drawn and acted by a more angular, stern looking, well okay she looks pretty stern, but um, a more angular sculpt. If you don't know much about Storm, her real name is Aurora Monroe. She is a member of the X-Men team most of the time. And she uh, has really soft white hair that I'm trying to comb at from getting her head out of the box. It goes really far down past her, almost to her knees. See this is her knee right there. So her front of her wing things uh, is a the front of the fabric the back is all bunched up right here but um, it's not as pretty as the front and it matches her leotard which has a seam here and seams here she has a jewel well, it's not a jewel you know it's plastic and she has these cuffs. Some of the newer Wonder Woman dolls, you can take their hands off. So I'd, I, we probably can get these cuffs oh, um, off without too much problem. But let's see if we can take her hands off. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to come. There we go. So if you want to take her cuffs off, just take her gloves off. And then we can easily reattach her cape and there we go storm if 
you haven't already known or guessed, can control the weather. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's really pulling on that joint, so I don't think I'll be taking off her hands a lot. That might snap really easily. Okay, so... Uh, she has really awesome boots. They're this kind of... Uh, pleather. Oh, they're not heels. I thought they were heels because her feet are pointed. But I guess if she's mid-flight, she'd probably kind of have a relaxed foot, which is kind of what's going on. Oh, her shoes have a little kind of heel. How cute is that? All right, let's take off her shoe. Oh, stuck on. Okay, hopefully when we take this off, her shoes will still stay up on their own. Unlike um, one of the look dolls who has tall boots, and if you take the sticky off, her boots kind of slide down. Okay, so there's her made-to-move joint. Her made-to-move usually has a foot ankle joint. This uh, doll does not. Made-to-move is also has a joint right here, so they can swivel the leg. You think an action doll would want to keep that articulation, but alas, she does not have that. She also does not have the joint here to swivel. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. She has articulation in the wrist, very good articulation at the elbow, shoulder, neck. Um, not the chest, made to move also can move her chest. Not the hip. But the th well, not the stomach, but the hip, and you already saw the knee. Okay, so the boots come off really easily, but they do stay up on their own perfectly fine. I do like to take off the glue because if it gets old, it gets gross. Her boot kind of folded over. So, did they make your favorite X-Men? Do you watch X-Men? Okay, so these sleeves are her cape. And then she velcros. And she has this really awesome crown diadem helm thing. She's really cool. Let's put her in our stand. There, just clasp onto her leg like that so she can kick some trash. And I love how they did all of their eyes where you, they're using their powers, you can tell, because they're a uh, eyes are glazed over. And look at how cool her makeup is. This is a, a dark brown and blue. It's a lighter shade than her eyebrows and her eyelashes. And then I really like this lip shade, but I still don't think that uh, Selma was... I love the Selma face mold, but I don't think it was the best for Storm. Alright, what do you think? Leave me notes in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time when I debox Mystique and Dark Phoenix. Goodbye. Okay, Thanks for watching. Thank you.